Well, now the word is that Mary Kate Olsen has checked into the hospital for anorexia, leaving Ashley alone for the first time in her life. Alone and vulnerable with a couple of hundred million dollars. <laughs> hey, baby, how are you? <laughs> Heard about your sister, that's too bad. Maybe she's not stable enough to handle all the money like you, I mean, you know. Maybe we should think about protecting you financially in case something happens. <laughs> I know she'll recover, I'm praying for myself. Hold on a second, baby, let me talk to her. Mary Kate, I'm glad you faced your disease and you're trying to do something about your problem. I mean, going away to a weight loss spa is a brave, uh, what? A weight loss anorexia? Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. I thought you were gonna lose some of those extra pounds you're, uh... <laughs> oh, too skinny, I don't know about too skinny, no. I see a little bit of fat here and there, to be honest with you. <laughs> Nothing serious, maybe just the stomach, the hips. You're a little hippie, that's okay. A little hippie, just a few more pounds. I wish we could go back to what you looked like when you were 12 and life was happy. Um, but Ashley, baby, I talked to her. I think we should reevaluate the old portfolio for both of your protections, you know? I know this is sad times. Don't, don't cry. Don't, don't cry. <laughs> go wait in the car. Oh, um, well, on the bench, we got Ross Bennett. Hi, Ross. How you doing over there? Right here. Good. Ready. You ready to come in in case somebody hacks it up? <laughs> you name it, buddy. I'm ready for you. All right. Oh, A new book titled Out of Bounds, in, uh, Inside the NBA's Culture of Rape, Violence, and Crime, said that 40% of the players in the NBA in 2002 had police records. Here's how the NBA stacks up against the other sports. You can see NFL, 21, baseball, 10, golf, 0.5, and tennis, Jennifer Capriati. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think about this? I read this stupid I, book last I think, night. Yeah, I think it's a stupid Yo, book. Yo, well, you're going to say it's racist. No, I'm not going to say it's racist. Dude. This guy's a cornball. Who don't know the NBA has problems? Who don't know that the NBA has criminals? That's not a new scoop. His next new scoop, hey, rappers smoke weed. That's his next big scoop. Every <laughs> now, maybe it's just that more NBA players get caught. I mean, it's kind of hard to be in the NBA. And I mean, the lineup is... You know, it's the guy who's 7'2". That's it. true. You know what I mean? You can't uh, get anybody else. How many 7'2 guys are going to be committing crime? You're right. But now, do you think just offhand as a woman, Kobe guilty or not? Did he do it or not? As don't a get woman all, or... <laughs> don't get a law and order on me. I want to know your gut feeling. Did he rape her or not? Oh, jeez. Did he wax her said? car? Come no, on, man. No, no, no. Yeah, so he's car. right. What the hell are no, you talking okay, about? No, you did he blow a past the shack in the last game of the Pistons series? Um, I think, uh, I think uh, there was consensual sex and up to a point, and then something went wrong, and then she went, uh-uh, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, like, she said no the back line. door, and he said yes, back door. Oh, uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> but no, you call, no. Be, what would you call that rape? So that? That but here, if, you, if you got caught with some of the stuff you did, you'd be a, have a police record yourself. This is, I don't even want to talk about this. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, no, this is not comedian. I was just saying, this is bad taste. You, you may have like, in basketball, they have all these kind of like single crime criminals, though. But the guys who are doing the golf crimes are like killing hundreds of thousands of people, for the record. <laughs> can I just say that, like, these are the guys who like divide up the world into like three sections so that they can have all the good <laughs> and then, Oh, you know. no, are you trying to say it's the white corporate and the innocent brothers out there rolling up? Yo, honey. Yo, I play for the Hornets, sweetheart. I'm sick of your black guy impression. I'm sick of your black guy impression. It's a bad black guy impression. Okay, let's see yours, stupid. It's not a black guy impression. Yes. Get the hat jar. Please get the hat jar. Why? Bring the hat jar down. That was pretty funny. Also, can I do my impression? It was funny, but it was hack. I would like to do the impression of the woman who claimed rape on Kobe. <laughs> I'd like to do my impression of Hal on Queer as Folk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, so It was all the same. That's all the same impression. Exactly. Keep, keep, keep doing it. I'd like to do an impersonation of the other guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See, I may have been hacked, but I really got a whole little fun ball there. Rolling you really did, Jim. Let me say this. Uh, uh, now, Racism, sexism, and he homophobia said, in one little stupid night. Stupid sitting there. The wait. bench over there, the bench guy over there said he had a really good NBA joke. I'm going to go to the bench and listen to his NBA oh, joke. Oh, right good there. one. It better yeah. be Let's good. You got Ross. Oh, benching himself. Well, you know, wow. take one for the you know you're in trouble when they're having a uh, uh, when they're making their um... good so far. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>
I hate you. I hate you. Go ahead, man. Come on, I man. Swear gonna, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I swear to God, I'm gonna smash with the poop if the joke's not funny. They're 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 gonna they're gonna trade Kobe for a power forward and a felon to be named later. That was, God, God that's damn. Bad. that wasn't bad. I hate you. That, that wasn't that bad. It would have been wait. You, you know what? Just to say that wasn't that bad, then you go to the bench. Yeah, yeah, right. Put my money in. Hold Get out of here. Put my money in. Give me the twenty. Let me no, see what you're twenty. It it's twenty. It's twenty. Ten. It's crazy. All right, dude. Do it. Yeah. All right, I go to the bench. Ross, we'll come work. back. Seven. That wasn't that bad. That joke stunk, stupid. But it was just the way it was delivered. Shut your he... mouth and go to the bench. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was, it was, the Supreme yeah, Court, the, the way it was delivered. Oh, Are you an expert on comedy? Listen to New Jersey. Awkward overrated because he got Jersey. Out. Shut That's your right. mouth, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Why'd you read the yeah. There's no way. He couldn't win with that setup. No, you're right. That was a bad setup. It's better. It's not even a bad setup. I'm telling you, man, later, it sounds like something. And the what? That was all I was saying. The setup was good. The whole thing stunk. He could have just came in, but he was so nervous when he came in. He started. Well, after that setup, what are you? You come in like a man. Yeah. Bill That's That's the problem. That's what Kobe and the rest of these brothers in the NBA think. You come in like a man, and no is just a minor inconvenience. Let's see, Colin. You don't want to talk about your criminal background. Let's talk about your criminal background. Let's talk about you. It's irrelevant, counsel. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about you and the homeless guy. Tell people, tell the audience about what Nice Colin do? Quinn and the homeless guy. Yeah. yeah. What did you do? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Are you, are you committing crimes on the homeless people now? This was a long time ago, and it was still called bums. So. <laughs> They're very different people. When I was a kid, right. I tried to be funny once with my friends. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I'm a nice person. <laughs> No one is. I uh, <laughs> I gave a homeless guy how to be. I was all drunk, like, you know, 20 uh, This homeless guy wanted to, I go, here, you want the beer? And I put it down here. And then, and even my friends were horrified by this, and they were pricks. <laughs> and then I waited for him to reach for it, and I kicked him in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is horrible. Oh, kids will be kids. He, kids will be kids. <laughs> he didn't, you didn't light him on fire. You didn't light him on, him on fire. fire. No. I didn't have matches. You didn't line up my fire. This was pre bum fights, too. Pre bum like, fights, yes. You were like, way in. You I was were like, like that was bum sucker punch. I was a bum basher. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's too bad you don't have an outside shot. You could play for the NBA. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something else. Maybe I, maybe that was his bottom when I kicked him in the face and night. Now he's sober, living a happy life. Yeah, you helped him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's a great justification. <laughs> a and that man a... is president today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was Bush. All right, we're well, good, Thanks. <laughs> While doing experiments on rat-like animals called voles, scientists found that promiscuous males can be reprogrammed into being monogamous by introducing a single gene into their brains. So my first question, obviously, would be, what are you doing in Norton's seat? The break is over. Beat it. You're on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Thanks, boss. I was oh. getting nervous. What the hell was going on? I had to wait for your word. Well, I think you should have gone over on the break. You've really got to take mm -hmm. some assertive. What do you think about rats with cheating rats in the genes? I, I actually think, uh, this is my prediction, but I think in three years, the vole population will be gone and almost like extinct. Because of no cheating? Yeah, exactly. Because uh, there are two Wait, things no. over that nature does not like, virginity and monogamy. And a vacuum. <laughs> it abhors yeah. her. But if, if they want to stop rats from cheating, they should come up with something that like helps the rat's wife lose weight. <laughs> gets translated to humans they're saying there's a gene that says you know, that it's just another excuse to say oh honey i'm sorry i've got the gene that's why i have to screw around it's like i'm sex addicted was one of the things that you know i'm Which addicted is to well, why would you think it's not true it's true yeah, well, are you sex addicted we've got a yes 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 we all are sex addicted yes. 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 no, no. you ladies don't know nothing they tell don't understand sex tell the story what you, which, which one you want? I don't know, your major sex addiction <laughs> story. Tell the story about when you kicked the homeless guy in the face. No, <laughs> you have to bring no. that up again. But, but you know the thing about it is, it's like men we cheat, ladies. Y'all know that we mm. cheat. That's we right. Can't help ourselves. Mm -hmm. We love to cheat, and we don't want to help ourselves. But now you have it. Yeah, sometimes you do because you feel. You know. And sometimes, yeah. man, when I went home and cried and like, what's wrong with me? That's right. Yeah. And I was over it in a few minutes. Were you crying? And now, you, <laughs> now you know it's in your genes, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Were you the crying because of the, the cheating or the fact that you just blew three hundred dollars? <laughs> 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 See, but that's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
outside. I'll never pay that much. It was 175. <laughs> oh, okay. Forget about it. Great, a good consumer. Go I borrowed money from my girlfriend, told her I needed rent to go see a prostitute. But that was years ago, but I still did it. Good for you. I, I Even though it was years ago, you're going to get, yeah, I hope she watches tonight. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> she will beat your yeah. brains in. Yeah. How about you, stupid? You're a sex addict too, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Me too. So what? I am. I know it. I'm but not- what do you think? Do you think your gene could help? I, yeah, because it's like, you know, what is it, the dopamine release in your brain? It's that whole thing of grabbing... It didn't say dopamine anywhere in the article. Don't just make it I'm saying that. I know you are, and I'm I saying I don't say things I say that it. were not in there. Like he's a doctor. You said, shut, shut up, stupid. Shut up, Dr. Dr. Dopamine. You, think I'm oh, a you know the dopamine release. Oh, you know, actually, it releases it in your mouth. Oh, my foot. That's what you get. You shouldn't be kicking it. But here's the thing. Here's what I don't like. What? Is the fact that it's only men. Women cheat just as much. She cheats all the time. They used to have to pay. For it. Right. I slept with Sue and Sam. What year was that? Oh, 87. How was he? Was he good? It was great, except for afterwards he kicked me in the face. I thought it was a good <laughs> I don't like my new reputation on this show. I don't know. You went I don't know. Beer. It's just- <laughs> Sue, don't you think guys have more of that gene of cheating than women do? Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, no, I don't. No, don't I think, think women. The worst? I, no, I think women. I think, you know, they just have a little bit more uh, brain power to actually control things. No, they have the yeah. 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 No, they're just. No. It's just that they, they, they actually have no. the ability. Women have the ability to go. You know, maybe I shouldn't. Women have the ability. It might real. also have something to do with men are kind of disgusting too. Absolutely. Like the vast yeah, majority. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Like, to... With guys, it's like eighty percent of women are like hot to, to us on some level. Whereas right. women, it's like twenty percent of guys are genuinely cute, and the eighty percent they're like, but it's, he's not. Nice. Women, you know, know women, women are can slicker, choose. You that's have all the luxury of choice. Yeah. You, your whole life, you have choice. Our uh-huh. whole thing is being geared towards getting laid. With you, your whole thing is being geared towards how to fend people off and occasionally sleep with the one that you like without seeming like a whore. It's a whole different society <laughs> still. It's yeah, a so whole different society. It's like, set. you know, eeny, meeny, miny, miny. Absolutely, yeah. 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 And with well, us, ain't yeah. that right? That's the way it should be. Yeah. I'm not yeah. saying it's wrong, but anyone <laughs> who will put it in their mouth, I'm not turning anybody down. Good for you. <laughs> it's Golly. a dopamine. It's a dopamine grip. It's about it's 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 the same high you get from cocaine or from stealing or anything else. It's that whole overacting. Take it down, stupid. You stole cocaine from a prostitute. You were about to throw tea in my pants. (laughs) He just went like this. I wouldn't throw my tea at you. No, you shouldn't. I wouldn't. (laughs) So, Ross, maybe you should come back. Come back, Ross. I feel physically. Um. Can you uh, sit with us? Why does it have to be exclusive? Why can't we all sit together? Oh, shut your face. That's come the here, idea Ross. of the bench. Ross, Ross, come here. You can sit with us. Sit between us two. Mouth, so you I, should re- I should reclude. <laughs> I should reclude myself. Take your time coming over. The show's only ten down. minutes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> You're walking over like we're in like a Bob Hope special in the fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. well uh, yeah. he you spent like more Hope. time. <laughs> you spent more time mocking me than I did actually coming over. If you just let me come over, it'll be over with now. You know. <laughs> you know? I don't like the fact that you both have big heads in the same jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, what do you think? You, have you cheated a lot? You're, a, you're, a, you're an adult. I only, I've only cheated when, when there was somebody who would have sex with me. <laughs> so he's never cheated. And, uh, come on. Sue, so how many times have you cheated in your life? I'm a She's constantly. a cheater. She's a cheater. You can just see it. All right, what, like a hundred, a thousand? Uh, yeah, a thousand. Yeah, no. Keith, how many? How many? I'm going for a I've lost count, man. I don't. I stopped counting. How? Cheat? Uh, I, I've actually been the cheat E, I guess. Oh. I was with the woman who was married for a bit, uh, and then found out she was married. That was kind of interesting. Well, you found out she was married after so you. Yeah. You were a cuckold. You, 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 yeah. you were a cuckold. Oh, no, she wasn't married to him. The, the home is still in place. Wait actually. a minute. I wasn't that great. You found out that she was married yeah. after you fooled around with her? Yeah. How about if we say this to you? You're a lying son of a bitch. You knew it beforehand. <laughs> how do you, you were shocked into finding out. No, no, no. How? I, I, will, I, will, I will say for the record, he was in another state, and she told me the morning after. Oh. Yeah. She goes, so, I suppose, was, this was the quote, I suppose I should tell you about my husband. Was wow. the, I, I swear to you. Well, that's, that's better than I suppose I that, should tell you about, about this disease. Yes, that's true. <laughs> she didn't tell me about that for a week. Yeah, yeah. So, that, 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 that ruins the surprise, so doesn't it? You were Russell, well, you were Russell Crowe. Huh? You were Russell Crowe and not Dennis Quaid. <laughs> you were Russell Crowe. Oh, and the Meg Ryan thing. I was yeah, like, yeah. Well, gladiator and yeah, uh, master of command. I never wear a shirt like that. Um, <laughs> At least not yeah. in public. Marriage no, I didn't mind. I mean, if, if kept going. Married, I, I was in prison. Less. So, well, okay. but if you're not, married, I could care less. No, that's outrageous. What about this? better. She goes home to a husband. What about and the of marriage? Not only do I want to hear about the husband, but I want to hear about the husband while I'm fing her. Oh. Yeah. Wouldn't you 
can say why, why I'm. Why is he going to pretend why she's he she? Why can say I'm here? No, people. Tell me what his hair is like. Tell me. What kind of shirt does he wear? What is that? I got to tell you my truth. Tell me what kind of car does he drive? This is sad. Can I meet him? I don't know. I don't know if you can use this. But oh, we can definitely I, use I was, it. In a, I was in Alaska, and, and I was down <laughs> in the basement with the wife of the guy who was upstairs. He thought that she was playing the guitar, showing me the guitar. She was going down on me in the basement, but she had to keep playing the guitar. <laughs> So that he thought that she was playing. It was like, it was like, it was like cool hand Luke. I'm shaking the b here. I'm shaking the. B that's great. That's that is great. That's an and that, and, and that was with. that was the best orgasm I ever had. It was record. the most exciting because at any moment I could have been killed. Yeah. He could have come in. If she, it was if she so played. hot. And that woman's name was Jewel. Yes. Yeah. Right. Then you can't listen to a John Mayer album without your luck. Yeah. You're lucky. You're lucky she didn't play the trombone. You could have been a dead man. We'll be right back. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a look at some recent news footage and try to figure out what the people are saying. Uh, first one, John Kerry grabbing an intimate moment with Clinton. How? what's going on there? You have something on your right cheek. Yes, it's still there. It's still there. It's All right. It's still there. It's still there. Keep anything for this one? one. Something on your right cheek. Keep, uh, it's still there. Yeah, I'm uh, still there. That now. How much did Monica Lewinsky weigh exactly? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, anything? Uh, yeah, he's probably saying, hey, where's all the good ass in this town? My wife won't let me go on her unless I pour ketchup on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's just weird that Jim stole mine, so I have to come up with another one. Uh, he's saying, oh, no, no, it's Mary Kate. She's the one. No, Ashley's the other one. Mary Kate's the thin one. And, uh, all right, let's go to the next one. Scott Peterson, we'll start this way this time. We're going chatting with a couple of cops in his driveway. Scott Peterson talking to cops. Uh, What's he saying there, uh, my darling Sue? Uh, uh, hi, you guys. Okay, I got burgers in the back. Uh, who wants Cokes? I got chips <laughs> and a couple of dead bodies. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Uh, and there's a barbecue. Jimmy, I don't know where she is. I haven't seen her since we had a fight, and I told her to go jump in the lake. Oh. <laughs> Keith! Keith! Yo, man, my wife, she's dating OJ now. I don't know what the <laughs> How? I just wondering uh, if there's any way I could get my fishing boat out of impound. I was taking a different trip. Amber's bugging me, and uh... yeah, when I get acquitted, I'll be out on the golf courses looking for the real murderer. <laughs> All right, finally, is President Bush welcoming the Rolling Thunder Motorcycle Club to the White House? All right, let's start with Jim. Uh, I think that he's going to go over there and talk to them and say, "Look, I have a real respect for bikers. Which one of you is Lance Armstrong?" <laughs> All right, Keith. All right, now, who am I riding to the Fahrenheit premiere with? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how? Uh, uh, I used to get my meth from you guys back in Texas. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys used to hook me up. Thanks. All right. So, <laughs> like, oh, I'm so, not uncomfortable. Remember Altamont? Okay, that was a joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, I guess I don't know if we have any time left, but... All I remember is the time me and Keith went to that biker thing and you almost got our ass kicked. <laughs> Stupid with those baby shorts you had on. I had little baby he shorts. Pulls into this shorts? My yeah, legs were going to do a gig. Really nice. sure. And he pulls into the, like, the most psycho biker like gas station. There's like 20 beautiful stations, nice McDonald's, all kinds of mall stuff. He pulls in this off ramp. It's me and him just running by bikers. He is out of the car. He's wearing like little baby blue shorts like that, like a little boy. <laughs> a little John Stockton look. And I'm ordering uh, the bikers around. Hey, he's yelling, my gas. He thinks that, <laughs> yeah, he thought the guy worked there because they were wearing the same uniform. He goes, hey, man. Hey, get over here. And the guys are looking at us. Yeah. It, was the, it was the fact that both of you were getting out of the back seat that was really what freaked them <laughs> that out. Threw them off. Yeah, right. You've got the, queer smoke on the brain, fellas. And his we'll matching right roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fly on the set, man. Whoever heard of such a thing? Have you ever seen a show with a fly like that? Not me. Hey, look. I didn't say it's fascinating, but it's real life. You know, a fly's part of nature. We're all going to be dead. Let's get into this. All right, the movie Dodgeball proves that childhood pain can lead to box office millions. What humiliating experience from your childhood could be made into a major motion picture? How? Uh, I have two. Uh, the first one is Atomic Wedgie, the movie. It's universal in its appeal and its painfulness. And the oh. second one is uh, Slow Song. It's a film about trying not to get a boner while dancing to a slow song in eighth grade. <laughs> Preferably one by Night Ranger. Night Ranger was great. Keith! I would like to see a movie uh, made about the basketball game called Rough House. In this game, the first player to 35 is the winner. 
the lowest player gets kicked in the ass. If it wasn't for the neighborhood retard, I would have a very sore ass. <laughs> Sue! If you can make a major motion picture with as thin of a premise as dodgeball, then you can make it about anything. How about the humiliation of red light, green light? Huh? Duck, duck, goose, or God forbid, squat tag. Yes, I said squat tag, Colin. Uh, I still have bad knees from that. All these movies, uh, just uh, because we can't get enough, should star Ben Stiller in a wig and a big mustache. All right, Jim. Well, I'd like to see a movie made about a little boy that chronically takes dumps in his pants and sits in them all day. <laughs> and uh, maybe the little boy has a crush on a girl named Kelly, and the first time he gets the courage to talk to her in second grade, she goes, did you go poops in your pants? <laughs> And then you can fast forward 25 years and focus on a lazy, frightened man with no self-esteem and a thousand dollar a week prostitution habit. <laughs> That's a show. Good night. <laughs> oh, uh, a couple questions for you. Okay. Uh, first one, did you and uh, Sue Murphy really sleep together? No. Thank you. We just uh, didn't work on the road together. That's uh, how she probably resisted. Yeah. Um, Hal Sparks, first time on the show. Yes. Uh, actor, What's it? actor, comedian from L.A. What yeah. Is, uh,